My dear elegant ladies, if you want to be classy this summer, then make sure you don't make any of these elegance or etiquette mistakes that I'm about to present. Elegance mistake number one. Ladies, I love a beautiful beach hat and actually I really do encourage all of you to wear these beautiful beach hats, you know, during daytime because they add really sophistication and uh, glamour to any outfit. However, don't wear them after around 6 p.m. in the evening. The thing is that, okay, 6 p.m. is not sharp, exactly 6 0, 0. <laughs> No, it's simply not suitable to wear it at night. And when I say night, I mean also early evening. One thing is if you are still at the beach at 6, 7 p.m., I would say 7 p.m. would maybe be the latest. A lot of ladies don't know about this mistake and actually end up wearing their daytime beach hat as an evening accessory. And that is actually a dress etiquette mistake. Mistake number two. Now we are in picnic times because now is a fabulous time to go and eat your food and socialize with your friends outdoors. And oftentimes you might go to some park, you might maybe grab a little picnic and organize it maybe in the forest, by the beach, in the park, you name it. However, there are a few things to think about if you want to be classy. And that is what to wear to this picnic. Not so much because of a dress code, but more so because you're gonna be sitting down in a funny position. Maybe even spread your legs. <laughs> Not too much, I hope though. And I want you therefore to avoid wearing any mini skirts or any short shorter skirts or dresses in general because what's gonna happen you know when you sit down it crawls up already the skirt and people are gonna peek into what's going on down there ladies because it's just what happens at a picnic not because people are looking but because you're sitting there and it's kind of hard to hide so my picnic rule for all of you elegant ladies is to wear longer skirts or trouser or of course longer dresses as well I would say anything below knee length midi dresses or even maxi dresses actually I would say maxi dresses would be the most comfortable because then actually you can just let the whole skirt cover you up beautifully and you sit there like an elegant feminine goddess. Elegance mistake number three. Now take this one with a pinch of salt, but I have to make a point here. Right now in Europe, everyone and their mother are traveling to Mykonos because suddenly Mykonos became the Instagram travel location and everybody think that that's where you have to be. Because Mykonos was supposedly great many years ago. When I went there in 2019, I was already late to the party. And frankly, I really did not like Mykonos. I love Greece. I love the Greek islands, one of my favorite destinations for travel. But unfortunately, Mykonos was a little bit of a disappointment because it was overpriced, overcrowded, and it was just not worth it. And the reason why I'm adding it on today's list is the fact that if we're talking about where an elegant lady would travel, of course, an elegant lady might want to go somewhere hip, somewhere trendy, like a jet set hotspot. But what you need to know is that Mykonos is no longer an elegant hotspot. It might have been X amount of years ago in the very beginning when it started to become popular and take off in popularity but unfortunately I kind of believe that maybe Instagram ruined it a bit because now it's just too many people there and the island is supposed to be a little bit of a ripoff today. But this doesn't mean you should stay away from the Greek islands. There are so many amazing Greek islands you should go and discover. Just don't waste too much time in Mykonos, is my advice. Number four. Ladies, as you know, summer means a little barbecue. But if you live in an apartment, you can't really just go on your balcony and start barbecuing. But unfortunately, many people don't know about this or simply ignore this rule. And it's so not nice because the problem with barbecue is that it smells and it smells incredibly strong. And if you have neighbors because you live in an apartment block, it's gonna really bother other people, especially in summer where most people have their windows open, their balcony doors open, and then you're standing there frying some steaks and sausages and all that smell goes to all your neighbors. It's just not very elegant. Mistake number five. 
So this one actually is fresh in my memory because I just came back from travels and I was walking behind this girl as me and my husband were doing some sightseeing in Prague and there was this girl in front of us and she really reminded of myself I don't know how many years back let's say 15 20 years ago maybe let me count how old I am <laughs> maybe 15 actually anyway so she was wearing a short dress which is fine I'm not against short dresses as long as they're looking elegant somehow but the problem with her short dress is that it was a a tight dress and it was kind of like a bodycon dress you know I'm not the biggest fan of short tight bodycon dresses because oh, many reasons watch my other videos to find out why but what was going on is that every 10 or so steps that she took she had to pull her dress down she was like walking 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 and then you know the dress is starting to go up a little bit and because it's short you know you start feeling within yourself oh no am I showing something now as I'm walking how much is it going up up in my bottom let's say so she was pulling it down all the time and it just looked so awkward so uncomfortable and I was thinking to myself you know it's so not worth it and I have made this mistake myself so many times in the past if you're gonna be walking a lot no tight bodycon short dresses no because they're just gonna be crawling up you just have to pull them down all the time and that's not an elegant look plus it's gonna drive you mad number six now as you know Summer means that some of us might end up on a boat. Maybe on a sailboat, maybe on a yacht, or maybe both. For some of you ladies, it might be the first time that you get invited to such experience. And there is a very important detail that you must be aware of. On all boats, except, you know, large cruise ships, <laughs> the etiquette is that you have to remove your shoes and pretty much walk either barefoot or they give you slippers on the boat. And this can be a little bit problematic for some who didn't know about it because I had a situation once when I arrived with a girlfriend and it turned out that she had not made a pedicure before. She had, <laughs> okay, her nails were a complete disaster. She was so embarrassed and I could see the panic in her eyes because this was a huge yacht loads of elegant people and there she was terrible terrible feet because she just wasn't aware or didn't think of it or maybe it was even her first time I don't know but I'm here telling you ladies make sure the entire summer your pedicure is on point if your pedicure or let's say your nail polish chips please don't start filling it in you know <laughs> because that's not a good look either just go and redo it it's gonna be worth it and if you end up on a boat you won't have to be embarrassed number seven as it's summertime and it's hot and uh, oof, we're sweating I'm sweating right now we have to think about what makeup we're wearing I'm sure many of you ladies probably go a bit easier on the makeup in summertime at least I do that I wear less foundation I try to really let my skin breathe however what you should not be wearing in summertime of course you know cake up with foundation is never gonna be a nice look but in particular I want you to avoid the dewy foundation you know the one that's supposed to give you this really nice glow and what happens is that they actually add shimmer in those types of foundations and shimmer in sunlight makes you look oily and like a complete grease ball plus ladies don't forget that sunlight and daytime is incredibly unforgiving so absolutely everything will be seen but the problem is that you're gonna look so oily number eight so I keep seeing this a lot and I don't think this will probably ever change, but I'm just saying it to you ladies, if you want to take yourself and your class and elegance to the next level, then you have to really pay attention to your underwear and your undergarments. And here in particular, I'm talking about your bra and bra straps, because of course, now are times when we wear more camisoles, spaghetti straps. And what I'm seeing is that ladies are not paying attention to their bras. I see, you know, contrasting bras bra straps poking up, I see fake bra straps, it ruins the entire top. The objective is to hide your bra. Number nine. So this happens sometimes and it really makes me curious why this happens. Because sometimes when I go to the beach and I have my sunbed and let's say a neighboring sunbed, a lady or even some men sometimes too have applied so much perfume on their body. We all know you should never spray perfume on the skin where, where the skin is going to be exposed to sun because you can actually develop all kinds of skin issues because of that and that's not good for you. If you want to smell nicely on the beach, then focus on a nice coconut sunscreen instead. Then you're going to smell really nice. 
Now, before I tell you number 10, I would like to inform you ladies that I have prepared a little gift for you. I have put together this checklist because before you leave your house, I want you to go through every single point that is so important that you make sure you tick those boxes so that you are not making any elegance mistakes. Because sometimes we're in a rush and we forget that maybe we should do this or do that in order to look perfectly put together and representable. So if you would like to get this checklist, please note it's absolutely free and you simply go to classychecklist.com and download it. Number 10. As you know, summer is here and that means we're gonna be socializing a lot. So a lot of your friends and acquaintances and even maybe new friends are gonna be inviting you to their home. Ladies, etiquette rule number one, never ever go to someone's house empty-handed. You don't have to bring this massive expensive gift, but at least something small to show that you have good manners and that you are educated. Now in my next video, 10 things elegant ladies never do, I'm gonna give you more tips on how you can lead with class and elegance to really elevate yourself to the next level. I will see you there.